In the previous video, we saw how AI generates real-time answers through a process called inference. Today, we're going to see how we can control the creativity and predictability of those answers using something called temperature. So think of temperature as a creativity dial for the AI. You turn the dial down, lower the temperature, the more safe and more predictable the answer is. Turn the dial up, higher the temperature, the more creative and unusual the answers start getting. So if you go a few videos back, you would remember I mentioned that when an AI model is predicting answers, it gives tokens a probability. Now, depending on the temperature, these tokens are made part of the answer when it's putting it out. So if the temperature is lower, then tokens with higher probability are chosen to be part of the answer. So it plays it safe. If your temperature is higher, then tokens with lower probability get a boost and the model starts becoming more and more creative. Let's take a simple example. So let's say you give a prompt such as tell me a one line story about a cat and you set the temperature as 0.1, so low temperature. Now this is the sort of answer you would get, very safe, straightforward, factual. Let's say you increase the temperature and now made it one. Look at how the answer changes. So you notice that higher temperature prompts would give you a more creative answer, right? So what this helps with is to set the temperature different for different kinds of tasks. So when you're doing coding, you would set it low because you want a higher accuracy. When you're brainstorming, you're writing stories or you want ideas, you would ideally set it higher so you get more creative options to choose from. So that's what temperature does, enables the model to behave differently based on what your use case is. Tomorrow, we're gonna to look at two sampling methods, top K and top P, which gives you more options to choose answers from a model. So if you wanna know more, stay curious, click the follow button and come back tomorrow.